Hello and welcome. Absolutely ideal weather for football here in Manchester at the Etihad. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. De Bruyne. Now with Mares. Well, a good tackle. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Arsenal's free kick here. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Played in there. And it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Holland. Gundogan. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. They favoured a short one here. The Braine. And now Rodri, Holland. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Short corner favourite. Holland. Now Gundogan. Well, tremendous block. <laughs> Going short. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Farsi. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. 
And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Grealish. He continues his run. Can he put them ahead? And it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and what a good finish this is from Mares. He strikes it so cleanly and hits it with power. That's a great goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. It's a promising attack launched by De Bruyne. Terrific block. And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Running with the ball confidently. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And there's the delivery. Thumps clear. Showing a lot of guile there. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. An incisive pass. He might be able to make it through. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And played short. Rodri! Determined defending. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Well, they're going for the short one. De Bruyne on to Grealish well the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong Stuart well he has to make the keeper work harder than that that's a tame finish Granit Xhaka good vision from Gabriel Jesus Gabriel Jesus strong hand on that one Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Well, first, they have a bit of defending to do. Oh, he looks threatening. Arsenal have given it away. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? 
Well, they're dominating this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second period. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Chance for Gundogan. A oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Put in by De Bruyne. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Can he finish? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. taken short Grealish and clears the danger De Bruyne oh in with a chance goalkeeper in charge of the situation They take it short. Gundogan. And a body in the way. Using his strength to shield the ball. John Stones. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Well, you have to say Erling Haaland has been at his excellent best up to now. Not that that should come as any great surprise. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. On they go again, and that goal for Arsenal means they can now entertain thoughts of perhaps drawing level. Ake, it's with Gundogan, Grealish, moving the ball effectively, Grealish, well that's how to keep the opposition at bay, and well, that's a super ball over the top, Martinelli, and a chance to level it. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And in with a real chance. It's got to be. Rodri, and a fine stop. Here it is now, a substitution. And 
and played short. Grealish. Rodri! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So on with the action and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. And we have 30 minutes to go. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Holland. Holland. Now with Mares. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Arsenal finding space on the wing. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity and momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Mares. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 35. Riyad Mahrez and back with De Bruyne must be oh it's in a two goal cushion now and the lead fully merited Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And he's won the ball. Chances on. Is it going to be? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. They take it short. Breaking at pace. They might be able to get in now. Jorginho takes aim. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Played over. Well, it still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Gabriel Jesus. 
Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Can they get one back? Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant, Manchester City excellent. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. Five minutes to go. Oh, great vision. Now he must favour the cross. It comes to nothing in the end. Marcinelli. Superb block. Who's going to get on the end of it? It is now with Jorginho. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a guilt-edged opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. You have to say that's a big chance missed. He had to score there. That makes it difficult now. Jorginho. Now with Jesus. And now passing it through. <laughs> and the danger is averted. Advantage, Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus. Jorginho. Able to close down the shot. Let's see about the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Gabriel. On to Trossard. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel-good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Very much the organiser-in-chief, Kevin De Bruyne. What in particular did you see in this match from the talented Belgian? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.